Hey everyone, it is Shar from Shar's Fascination. And yesterday, as you all know, I cut out the pieces for my top for my yellow dress pattern. Now today, this is the skirting. And I won't be able to put this on my Instagram. My phone had to be put on the charger. So I already met, measured out on the panel. Um, this is the back. This is the front. Um, so those are laid together. I took my measurements, which is a 44 inch waist. Now remember, back in the day, a 44 inch waist was considered your standard waist size back in the day. <laughs> but not anymore. It's all right. I know what size I am, and it's not going to worry me any. So, um, my mannequin, which I have right over here in the middle of the floor for now, um, because, like, if I keep standing over here, the security camera goes off, and that can be a little bit annoying. So, I've marked here to here. 46 inches and left a flare guffet panel outward so I can add that in if I feel like it or I can just cut straight yeah I know flailing those or I can just cut straight and make it into a pencil skirt but then add the guffet now if I did that that would be so adding in so many pleats into the guffet, which I don't have any problem with pleats. Pleats, tell me, <laughs> sewing check. If you ever sew your guffet panel in after, or just go ahead and cut, that way you have your loose guffet panel out here. Okay, and that is basically the way your guffet should be Especially for like doing Native American regalia. So I'm actually going to base that guffet that I have angled off here as the guffet that we use on our regalia. Now I didn't do a guffet on last year's regalia, but I am going to add in a guffet to this year's regalia. Now this isn't my regalia, but this will also give you some kind of point on what Native American um, stitch work is about, how we do it, how much seam allowance we give ourselves, and how much we actually take in should we lose weight prior to the powwow. Now, this is 29 in inches going this way, which is how I want it. That is exactly how I want it. Now, my... Uh, Guffet, my inseam from the guffet down um, is 32 inches from here to the ankle. Now, I always like mine to fit a little bit over the ankle. That's just me. If I'm making a pair of pants, I like it to go down here. Unless I'm making a pair of, uh, what is that, gauchos. But, you know, probably haven't heard the word gaucho in a long time. But, yeah, if I'm making a pair of gauchos, that's what I'll do. Now, of course, the back panel of a skirt is always longer than the front panel of a skirt. Now, um, that ended up being that way on this only because I cut a little off from here. And it's not the same as here, but that can be pinned and taken care of and you know hand stitched before everything hits the machine including the top now the top wasting area i'm going to basically have it go from here forward and follow over the skirting itself which i'm doing for a specific reason now like i said you can either cut here because i want a straight wasting and then take your guffet point out. Okay. 
Now, there's a good reason for that. Maybe a lot of people haven't thought about doing that. But if you do that, you're basically giving yourself a one cut and everything gets pinned together and I've marked it on both sides for the guppet. Now, when you go to do that, make sure that I, I don't have my frame down here for this, but make sure you got something. I know that's a little light. Um, to basically mark where you're going to take your point from. Now, once I go to cut on this area, that also leaves me enough fabric for pockets, which I am going to put in pockets. But you're like, wait, you're adding this gusset that goes way up here. Well, you know, I looked at it and I'm like, you know what? Let me lower that gusset just a smidge because I am going to add in the pocket plus give myself a one inch seam allowance at the top of the skirt. Now, normally on Native American regalia, we'll put the gusset in separate, but for now, I'm just going to cut it this way and then go ahead and bring my cut line up. Now, I actually measured this out to be 28 inches. Or I should say 26 inches because I'm a 44 and um, then I added on that gusset which was like two inches more than the 26 or I should say 46 so since it's a, a separate paneling uh, how you can tell it's Monday your tongue doesn't want to help you talk um, I went ahead and measured that two inches on both sides. So that way when you bring out like this, I think we all know this, we can just fold that and have the same measurement on both sides. So we're gonna do that and then voila, we will have our cut out skirt paneling. Now the thing that I actually want to do is make sure that this matches up to that line. That way I'm not cutting too much fabric. I'm pretty sure that's happened to a lot of us. Um, yeah, pretty much. And I've been doing a lot of pinning today, fitting. So my back's a little sore, but I'm not letting that stop me. Definitely not going to let that stop me. Now, I know a lot of, like, I've gotten a lot of hate comments. But you know what? If you had to live with my pain that I live with on a daily basis, you would cry. I still don't let the pain stop me. But the people that give me those hate comments, thank you for the like. I mean, the, the thumbs down and some watch time because you just improved my channel and I have to thank you for that. And yeah, I rechecked and see to see if the pattern was sent. No. And I'm not worried about it. Even if I did want to make there's, I have so many other fabrics <laughs> that it's all right. It is. It's all right. Sometimes it's best just to move along with your own. And I have to thank Fabric Mart again for like, you guys are awesome. I just love your service. I can't wait to go up there. And say hi to Bib Mom. Just say hi and do some shopping. Okay. Now that we have these cut out, 
make sure that I only take it this way. Um, we're going to start pinning the panels together. And the first thing I want to do here is make sure that when I go to do that, now like the chalk markings are on the back, so hey, blue is back, and just so happens to be blue. <laughs> How lucky is that? Um, right? How lucky is that? So I'm only going to take it down by one inch around the wasting. And then one inch at the bottom. And so that brings it up to 27 inches in length, which is fine. That's fine for me. I'm a tall gal, but it's fine with me. How tall, you might ask? Five foot eight. I'm a five foot eight gal. And just pin it now I do it like this if I'm gonna do a skirting most people pin it all the way around and sometimes I'll do that but I want to make sure that my sides are actually pinned together first before I go to do that that way when I go to do that stay stitch everything stays <laughs> More sewing jokes. <sighs> uh, always have try to have fun when you're doing your sewing. And um, then the other thing that I do is generally shake it loose a bit. Find that center area and then pin that down. Pin it down. You're fine. That's the center. And I know like there's a crease line right here. And you can also use that as your focal point of your center line. Which is fine to do. It really is. It's fine to do that. Um, and make sure like even though I generally use the blue pin for the back. But I have chalk on here anyway. Um, you know, I can always switch out the pin and knowing that I'm going to put pockets in this and I have so much fabric that I can just use for that. It's great. And I also have some extra fabric. So let's say I decide I want to do something with that extra fabric. I think it's like maybe a half a yard of that fabric left and it's just one panel. Just one square panel. Square. Why? Because pretty soon we'll be doing pie. <laughs> In a month. Oh. Uh, like, uh, pie day is coming up soon. And I don't mean eating pie. I mean pie is in math. <laughs> because everything we do here is a form of math. We're laying out a mathematical sequence of measurement every time we sew. Maybe that's the other reason why I like sewing. It's math. I, I love math. People think I'm weird. Hey, I'm a nerd. I deal with that. I just deal with it. You ever listen to Weird Al Yankovic and he has that uh, that song White and Nerdy? <laughs> I always laugh at that because it's funny. I'm a nerd and I think it's funny just because I'm a nerd. I may not be Jewish and I may not be white, but I think it's funny. He's got a lot of funny songs, though. Um, oh, Tacky. 
That's one of his songs. It's called Tacky. <laughs> it's basically about tacky people. <laughs> Wait, this fabric is kind of tacky. <laughs> I'm just joking about that. Well, I was always wondering, what should I do with this fabric? Should I just use it as mock-up fabric? And then it ends up being mock-up fabric. Because it's tacky. I don't know. You guys know by now I love making my um, my mock-ups is something very wearable. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Ouch. And like I said before, you know, needle poked me in the knee. Um, always try to make your uh, mock-ups as a wearable garment because you never know when you, like I said, this is just going to be a skirt. You never know when you might want something that when I'm done with it can be extremely cute. Um, match this up as best as possible. Knowing that one side is longer than the other. Like the backing is a lot longer than the front. Um, and like I said, you know, uh, this is just going to be exclusive to YouTube because my phone is charging or I would put it on Instagram as well and go check out the history bounder that's the name of her channel um I'll link her I know I said I'd do that before I really have to link her that way she doesn't think posh of me she doesn't think I'm posh and stuff no And, you know, none of, speaking of Posh, none of my stuff will be sold on Poshmark. I just won't do it. I won't, I won't sell my sew. I'll wear it. I'd rather wear it than sell it. You know, and then I'm going to take that up an inch before pinning this next part. Gotta do that to the back too. Take it up an inch and pin it. And that guff that is still there. The extended part. Now I think we'll just call that a flare. Yeah, we'll just call that a flare. It is kind of a flare skirt. It's kind of a fit and flare if you think about it. The way I'm doing this is kind of a fit and flare skirt. And um, I'm not going to put elastic banding in this. I'm just going to stitch it down. Take one section of it, split it, and put in, I don't know, buttons. Perhaps if I can find some brown buttons. Um, because the buttons I have here will not go. I don't have any yellow buttons or green button. Um, and I don't feel like putting white buttons on it. So, yeah. So we'll uh, tack this side down with the, uh, oh, with some pins. And, um, uh, and I will put it back on my dress form. Now, I've kept my Western Duster on there for a reason. Because having that on there kind of helps to mark out my actual size. Um, for my uh, bust. And sometimes even my hips. I'll tell you what. When you're measuring out, you also have to remember your hips need to fit. Your hips need to fit your garment. And that is another key thing to garment making. Is making sure that your garment actually fits over your hips. You know, hip hip hooray. It might fit today. <laughs> uh, I'm going 
going to try to do, you know, like more positive energy in my videos. I like to be a positive person. I know a lot of you have seen me in pain in my videos, but you know what? I think like even the passing of my ex-father-in-law, he really meant a lot to me. But I think he would like it better if I was still a, the cheery person that he knew when he was alive. And um, so I'm going to, you know, do as he would like is for me to continue on being a cheerful person um, and not grieve too long. I mean, I'm still grieving, but there's a time period where you have to just do what you th remember they would like you to do. Um, I know that sounds weird, but if a person knew you in life a certain way, they would definitely want you to continue on as they remember you. And how you remember that person is very key. So, um... Always keep that in mind. Like, you have a grieving period, but then you have to remember what would they want you to do. Um, keep strong or be sad for the rest of your life. And I know that he was a very strong-willed man because uh, he was poor at one point in his life. Man even lived under a bridge, so his little brother had food to eat and you know he was a very good man um and joining the United States Navy and sending most of his check home to his parents so that they would be able to manage better you know and uh that's you know really good good people that do stuff like that and you know we don't commonly see that anymore it's sad pretty much sad that we don't see that in commonality anymore so I'm going to pin those there and then lift up the skirting so that you can see it. Now, I don't have all of the bottom completely pinned up. So you have to remember that. Because um, obvious, you know, I just haven't done that yet. So I am going to show you this. It's kind of hard for me to sit on the floor like this. Because, oh, oh, that finally cracked. <laughs> I crack myself up on certain days. Um, <laughs> so now that I have that like cut and pinned, and I will lay in a stay stitch. I have to excuse my floor. It's seen a lot of fabric in the last couple of days. Um, and I will be working on getting a cutting table this year. That way I'm not on the floor anymore. Yay! <laughs> Rachel Maskey. You need one too, sweetie. We both need a cutting table. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stay stitch the top and the sides to a point because you gotta remember I have pockets to put in. So while we're speaking of pockets and we have all this fabric right here, all this fabric right here right Yep, this um sometimes i'll what i'll do with like some of these parts is save them for waistbanding but i still have all that extra fabric up there that i can use for waistbanding which is great um but i also have these in which i can take Right? This is what I've been doing lately. This saves you on purchasing fabric. This really does save you on purchasing extra fabric. Because you have all this 
and you can just cut this and it's your pocket it's your double-sided pocket now I'm not gonna make it the whole thing obvious why because that would be too big <laughs> but it's the simple fact is we can start from one section and um, even though this has a flare out I could make that that way but I'm gonna go ahead and just make it straight which means we actually turn it this way for a reason because we're gonna use the lines it makes sense it's perfectly logical I should be wearing my Star Trek shirt when I say that it's perfectly logical <laughs> And it is. It's logical. So, um, lay it as flat as possible. Your hand needs to be open when you do this. I know you're like, what? That's right. And I'm not going to, yeah, I'm going to like right here. Because I know how far over and how wide I want this pocket to be but not too far down because you don't want your pocket to be too big you just want it to be big enough that you can put your hand in there you can put your cell phone in there your keys whatever you need okay and using the lines on here you know is great measurement because each square is an inch. E each square is exactly one inch. Just take it this way. Now remember when we sew this, we sew this so that this part shows on the outside so this is actually the inside of the pocket. Some people say it's the outside, actually the inside of your pocket. Ugh. Once I have a, a cutting table, that'll be so great. Okay, so we have this one. We'll put this aside. Take this one. And that always happens. And now, like, this is our template for, oh, yeah, that's a smaller one for waist bandy. And um, we just do the same thing. And now uh, this right here has become the template. And it works. Whatever works, right? Whatever works, works. And it saves us a lot of time on a lot of stuff for sewing it really does like you're like oh no i need to put my hand back down there no you don't absolutely no you don't you know why because you have your template just lay your template out like this and which is kind of funny because it matches to the yellow here. That's funny. Yeah, it does. It matches perfect to that yellow. And it also matches there. So that's really great. And then we just take this and again, you know, cut along using this as your template. Then you have exactly four pieces of perfectly matchy matchy fabric. Unless, of course, your fabric didn't want to stay still. 
<laughs> like what just another Monday point, right? Now we have pockets. Um, our skirt is cut out and pinned. I will pin these. Let me straighten this piece of fabric out here. It wasn't straight. It needed to be straightened out. Sometimes things need to be straightened out. Um, anyway, so that's the pockets that will go into the skirt. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed today's short video. <laughs> Let me bring you over to me, or bring me over to you. Um, today's short video <laughs> on, um, and it, see how I have, like, Manny Quintus right here? Don't mind my stuff up there, because, like, I had to take a nap today. Um, <laughs> I had to take a nap. Um. Because, you know, you get a little tired from all of this. And sometimes you get a nap. And I get a, I gotta clean the carpet. <laughs> Had it clean, gotta clean it again. Um, so, I want everybody out there to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, And as always, stay blessed. And remember, it doesn't matter what ails you in life what matters is you keep a positive mindset to keep yourself going forward and that is what gets you through life along with positive people of course um and if you have a skill use it it's called a hobby my youtube is a hobby my instagram tv is a hobby and um, it keeps me going other than keeping a positive mindset. And it gives me stuff to do. I mean, I can't really like list off everything I can do because that's too long of a list. <laughs> You're like, oh, well, what, huh? And um, I'm actually thinking about maybe later this year signing up for a psychology course and a parapsychology course and a course for metaphysiology. You're like, what did I know? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, that. Anyway, <laughs> the study of um, the paranormal, the study, well, metaphysics is something else. I'll explain that in a different video. Um, and uh, psychology, because you have to put the psychology with the parapsychology in order for those two things to work together to figure it out. Because if you've watched a few of my videos, you've seen like the haunted chair move, you've seen Manny Quinn move, you've seen the shadows walking behind me while I was hand sewing in a video. Like, eh? Um, but sometimes you just have to challenge yourself to stuff and see how far you can go with it. So like after I'm done with this dress, I'm going to start, I keep saying that I'm gonna start my regalia. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, maybe the skirting will help in this whole yellow dress can be something similar to being a um, mock-up for several different purposes. Um, 
a piece of regalia, except for the bust part. Um, in our regalia, we keep the collar very modest. We don't cut at a V. We don't, we just don't do that. Um, we don't make ourselves look like Disney princesses because Disney got that wrong. Um, <laughs> if you want to see a powwow princess, you go to the powwow. Like everybody else has their beauty contests and everything. <gasps> you know, so did the tribes. And we don't size discriminate. Nobody has to be a Barbie to be crowned in the powwows. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Think about that. So anyway, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Remember, I will link the history bounder in this video because you should go check her out. Um... She's new to YouTube. Show her some love and respect. And um, hopefully she'll remember that you don't have to do a video every day. You don't have to be on social media every day. There are times where like what Kathy Hayes says. Um, putting down your devices and just leave it alone for an hour get something accomplished. Um, my phone only died because I was on uh, Instagram posting a few things and answering some people. But then, you know, like, I put my phone down. <laughs> In fact, I put my phone down a couple of times today and just let it be. Just let it be. So you keep that in mind. Also keep your happiness going in your life. And I will see all of you in the next one.